Hi, welcome to Fluffy Feather Farm. We're going to spin honey today. <laughs> it's going to be so exciting. Okay, so this is going to be maybe our second to last video in our bee series because we're going to spin honey today. We're going to show you how we're doing that. And then our last video is going to be bottling and putting it in the jars so that you guys can just see how we do that. But this is going to be so much fun today. So, um, we need to fill in the gap though of between like how, oh, it's so sticky. Everybody here knows, everybody understands. I really don't like sticky. So this whole bee process has been a challenge for me. And up until this point, I haven't really had to deal with the sticky without gloves. Do you want to smell it? It smells really good. You don't have to touch it. I kind of felt for a second, like that was one of those things where like they were going <laughs> to shove the cake in your face. <laughs> I thought about it for just a second it's though. Good, honey. Okay, okay, let me just let me just take the, the okay, okay. Okay. Okay, good. See, this is fine. It's not that sticky. Okay, so we're gonna so we're gonna talk about like how we got here. Because the last video we made was adding the supers to the top of our hive bodies. And you guys are probably all sitting and wondering like what happened after that. So apparently it's normal, but um, it was kind of sad. So our bees left, which I don't understand why they would want to leave here. I, know, I mean, sad. most people, when they come here, they want to stay because it's really nice. I know. I know. You um, know but they, they left. left. They left. They went. They probably into the forest. Yeah, they it's probably just fun. relocated within the property to a different. Okay, so what happens is bees sometimes they leave, and there's a number of different reasons why. Like they, they either, they, too many of them at once, or they got uncomfortable, or the weather changed, or the wind was weird, or the sunlight hit the beehive incorrectly, or but like it, li literally any reason, right? Somebody okay. could have been spraying. Right, that was, somebody could have sprayed something in a field that just upset them. So our bees, um, they left. And they swarmed and they left. So every week we would go out and we would check the bees, mostly Micheline, because she was kind of our bee person. And again, I don't like the sticky. Okay, so um, so Micheline would check them. We checked them on like a Monday. We went back out and checked them the next Monday and they were gone. So sad. The good thing is that we got to pull all of our um, frames in because we didn't have to overwinter our bees. So unfortunately we can't like go over how to do that because we don't have any bees to overwinter. So what that meant is that like all of our frames in our beehive, we could take and use the honey. Usually we would only take the top ones, like the smaller frames, like um, these guys here. So these are the supers, but these are the hive body frames. And usually these would be left for the bees over winter so that they could have honey over the winter and they could hibernate. Is it hibernating? Yeah, you can say that. I mean hibernating? Like a, like a bear. what I usually say. Don't good. eat it. It's delicious. Why wouldn't you? It's fluffy feather farm honey. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. It's really good. What were we talking about? Oh, oh so, so yeah. the bees left. So um, the good news is that we got to take all of our frames with us, which is great. However, between the Monday we checked and the Monday that we um, took all our frames out, some of our honey got stolen. So what happens is when the bees swarm and they leave, other animals and insects, not so much animals, like there wasn't a raccoon in there or anything, but like pollinators, they come and they steal the honey because there's no longer bees there to defend it. So we had, you know, like um, yellow wasps jackets. and yellow jackets yes. and all that came in and stole some of the honey. So we ended up with less than what we probably would have had, but we also, got to keep the hive body frames, which we normally wouldn't have gotten. So really at the end of the day, it all worked out. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin the honey and we're gonna show you how that works. And Micheline was so nice to bring in her honey spinning machine, which then afterwards she explained to me that we would have to crank it by hand for hours at a time. And we were just gonna make Matt do it. But in hindsight, I thought like, okay, maybe we should like get one that does it itself. So ah, I bought a new thing. Okay, so come over here and look. Okay, so this, instead of a crank spinning honey machine, 
Um, this is, what is it called? An extractor. Honey, honey extractor. Honey extractor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a honey extractor and it is electric. So all we have to do is we push this little button here. Boop. It doesn't make that, I made the boop noise. That was me. <laughs> um, so we push that and then look, it everything spins and then the honey will go to the sides and it will fall down and we'll collect it in the bucket and then we'll show you how we put it in the jars later. So um, we'll turn it off for now. And it's it's also got this like button on it in case, you know, you, there's an it's emergency. It's got a red but stop you, button. Yeah, it's got, button. The, it's got the really big stop button. So um, we're gonna put the frames in here. It takes four frames at a time, or I think you can put eight in. It said eight, but we're, oh. we're gonna start with, we're gonna start okay. with four Sounds because safe. we've never used this before. Yes. Um, so we're gonna start with four frames. We're gonna put it in here. We're gonna spin the honey, and as the frames spin, the centrifugal force of the spinning pushes the honey out to the edges of the container, and then it will fall down, and it will come out the spout, and the spout will go into this bucket, which has a filter in it, and then we will have all our honey that we can put in bottles, and it's gonna be really, really great. This is gonna go really well, really well. And the okay. great thing about that filter is it's a coarse filter, so it allows pollen to come through, which is really great for potentially allergies. People who love honey for that kind of stuff. Too. Okay, so here, this is, it's so see, filter. this is our filter. Yeah. It's like a colander, and then this is our bucket. So the buckets all have the spouts on them, and it will be easy to make this work. Okay, okay. so. We have our filter on the bucket here. We put our bucket under the thing and we're gonna load our frames. And I have no idea how to do this. So Michelin is gonna show us how to load the frames into the excluder, extruder, expander, Extract. extractor. extractor. <laughs> so this is the decapping comb and this is the decapping knife, which looks very similar to my insulation cutting knife. Huh. So we probably could have just used that. Although we probably don't want insulation in the honey. So these beautiful frames are filled with, they're all capped honey. And when I say capped, it means that the bees have closed it with wax. So we have to decap them and take off that top layer of wax so that we can open up and the honey will flow and be all beautiful and lovely and we can eat it. So in order to do that, there's many ways but you would take something similar to a decapping knife or a cold knife, and it's really beautiful. Are you guys ready? Oh, that is so cool. So it just starts kind of, you can see that it's just starting to, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so excited That right is now. so neat. <laughs> okay, I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. Yeah. Look at so that. I'm just gonna kind of go down like this, and I'm trying to do this. Okay, so what do we, what do we do with this? What is this? So I would put this in my Pyrex that I don't have here. To oh, I need to get a Pyrex. We will have other honey left over for, from this. So what? Eat it. Eat so, it. Oh, okay. Eat it. Uh -huh. Eat it. It's so good. It's honey flavored. <laughs> but really look good. how beautiful the honey is. That color, it's like this dark, beautiful. Wait, so you, can you eat the wax stuff? Absolutely. Oh, okay. When I'm spinning honey, that's all I do. I just eat honey and wax. And then I have to. <gasps> Oh, there it goes. You lost it all. Oh my God, my sweater's clingy. Oh! <laughs> okay, it's fine. Okay, I'm not gonna keep eating though because I don't want to touch it after I like ate my... You're doing great. I'm doing nothing. You're just doing great. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay. Keep going. So this is beautiful, honey. And there's nothing really to it other than a nice little sawing back and forth action. We're decapping this, opening it up so we can extract the honey in our electric extractor. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so beautiful. I'm so excited. Okay, 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 hold on, come over yeah, here. Okay. So we're gonna put, so what are we doing? We're putting them in here to okay. extract. How are they sitting in there? They're just sitting on the bottom. Oh, that's it? That's it. Oh. Or you can put them, if we're doing eight of them, they probably want them like this. Like a oh, so I get it. another way you could try that with too. And they just sit. So I'll put one oh. there, one there, one there, one there. We can just do as many as we have. Okay, so we just gotta get it. I got wax in my oh, teeth. Yes, yes. Does it taste good though? 
And it's weird, right? Well, now it just tastes like wax. Yeah. I like wax. Oh yeah, Matt's here. He put the honey ex excruciator. What is extractor. it called? Extractor. Extractor. He put the honey extractor together. So if it doesn't work, it's Matt's fault. It will work. It will work, Matt. <laughs> I hope so. Okay, so we got one. We got one in there. So we're gonna do, are we doing four or are we doing eight? One, two, three, four, five, six. We only have seven small ones. We okay. could probably start with four, right? Yep. Let's start yep. with four just to make sure we know what we're doing. Yeah, okay. So I'm chewing on wax as well. Okay, can I do, do this part? It? Yeah. I want to. Oh, it's sticky! I know. Oh! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to cut my hand. No. Oh, won't. this is really easy. Isn't that nice? Isn't that beautiful? Like I said, we're, we're losing all this beautiful stuff right here, so. But we can use that for, like, something else, right? You will literally have another jar or two of honey with that. So that's why I usually put it in a Pyrex and then I wrap it in cheesecloth. And extract the rest of it. From oh, there. that's smart. So, oh yeah, this is easy. So, what happens if we put this in the excruciator and it doesn't, and we don't decap it? Um, it's going to be a mess. It might blow the whole thing out. Like it won't. Um, it probably won't extract very well. It won't. Oh, see now I'm screwing it up. See, okay. I should stop talking. Does it matter that that stuff's still on there? No, not at all. Oh, okay. Because remember, you got oh, to filter Oh, because we're going to filter it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be fine. Oh, you can even just slide it down. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought it would be much more difficult to cut this the wax. It's not like wax, it's like paper. Yeah. Like wax paper. <laughs> <laughs> wax paper. Okay, oh, so since we're going to do Honey flavored like, wax paper. Are we going to do them this like, way? Yeah, we're going to okay. do this way. All right. Perfect. So they're on the other side of each other. Got it. We'll grab two more. Okay, we'll two try more. It. Here we go. I can't believe how much honey is in these things. These are each like, I mean, I these are each like seven, like seven, yeah, seven or seven or eight pounds. They're not light. And periodically, I do like to clean the knife off. I have now easier. started to cut the wood on the frame. <laughs> so you told me I was doing well, and then. Um, you got all nervous. Oh, look, there we go. Oh, that was That's so much beautiful. Easier. Okay. Mm. All right. Other side. Okay. What's the what's the fancy comb for? So if you were to like not get some of this with the knife, you can use this to decap. Or some people like to pr solely use this. Oh, I okay. like the knife. That's what I use. Well, this is just so easy. Yes. Okay. So beautiful. Sounds fun too. Okay. All right. Oh, see now you can use that. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Kind of that that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right, this one can okay, go so in. so this can go in because we're, we kind of we're filtering it, it anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so it's just to really remove the outside layer right. so that... Stop dripping. Stop dripping. You can drip it in here. I just don't want to lose any. All right, here we go. Okay, all right, we're going to... Here, I'm going to see if we can get you to hear what it sounds like. Ready? Oh, so much fun. Okay, we got four in, right? So we have them equidistantly, oh, I don't have a wet nap. So we have them equidistantly spaced, like we have two and two, because as this starts to spin, if we put like, if we put like one in, <laughs> all over the place. So we gotta make sure that like that doesn't happen. Off. Yeah, yeah, like the washer dryer issue. Okay, so we, we have it set at 100 which it only goes zero to a hundred and we're, there's literally honey on the button. Ah, oh, okay. So um, we're, we have it set from, <laughs> so distracted now. <laughs> okay, hopefully we won't need to use the emergency button. All right, so um, it's set at a hundred. We're gonna turn it on and cross our fingers that it doesn't wobble and fly all over the place. Do we need to open up this little thing down here or just yeah, leave yeah. it? We can leave okay. it. Okay, okay, so here we go, here we go. Right, do we need to do a countdown? Do we need to start at yes. 10? No. Let's start three. at three. Okay. Three, two, one.
Okay, I panicked for a second because I thought it was gonna, I thought it was gonna go. Oh, also we like, we screwed it to a board. So like underneath we got this big piece of plywood and we did screw the feet down. So hopefully that will help. Okay, so. It's starting. So now what? Now we wait. We, we're, we gotta be patient because we've gotta empty that whole thing out. We will take them out again and flip them around to do the other side. Oh. That's why this process takes a long time. Okay, so if um, if we did not have the fancy electric one, this is like, how long does it take to crank this? It takes me days to finish my head. Okay, so. This is why honey is so expensive. Okay, yeah, so time. when you go and you see that little jar of honey, um, that's. A, a, lot. a lot. A lot of love. A lot in, in all the different farm stores that you go to. Yeah. Um, this is why, because this is going to take us probably all week to do that. We'll be yeah. switching them out. We'll have to flip them. We'll switch them out again. We'll flip them the other side. And we'll let this run probably all afternoon. And then we'll flip them over and run it. And that. So this is going to be uh, time and labor intensive. But I now that we um, see how this is working, I'm really happy that we got the electric one and that we didn't make Matt stand here and crank it the whole time. Hold on, can we like see, I'm gonna sure. stop it for a second. I'm not using the big red button because it's got honey on it. I'll just turn it off. So it's only been running for like, you know, a minute here, but let's see. I know you guys like really wanna see the inside because I do too. So we'll and because see I don't have an like. electric, I have no idea. You can already see that it's seeming. Oh yeah, see? Spinning. Here, let me get it to stop. Okay, so all the honey's gonna go on the outside, and then as it gathers, it's gonna drip down, and then when it fills up, it's gonna come out of the front when we open up the front thing. Do you see how it's spinning on the outside ones right now? It's getting drier. Can yeah. You see the outside? So this is why we have to flip the frames. Here, I'm gonna take one out just so you can see it mm -hmm. after like two minutes. Okay, so see this one? It's that's the great. side that's coming out, yep. and this is the other side. So you can see it's already like significantly emptier. So we're gonna let this spin and then we are going to do this the rest of the week. We'll probably still put Matt in charge of it because I mean, he'll, he'll be able to do this, I think, right? I can hit a ball. Okay, <laughs> comforting. Um, so um, we'll let this spin and then we once we get all of these spun out, we are going to have our last and final video, which is gonna go over how we're gonna bottle everything, which will be great. And then we'll put it down at the farm stand. And then you're gonna be able to order Fluffy Feather Farm honey because we can ship that anywhere, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah, we, so you can come here and pick it up or we can ship it to you, it's gonna be awesome. So um, make sure you watch the next one so you can see how all of this gets put together at the end. And don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button below. Hey, hope you learned something today. Bye.